Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Stellaris Utopia. So, let's continue where we left off. We almost finished the Frontier Outpost, so as soon as we finish that we'll attack the Aether Drake. 36,000 fleet strength should be enough. I suppose we can upgrade it first and then attack. That should be more than enough, I hope. Anyway, let's keep working on our colonies and the habitat. Let's have a look then. We probably want to focus on energy and research in here. So let's see. We got 41 food. Plus 41, that is. That should be enough for a while. Yeah, let's grab a few solar processors. That's 10 energy. And we'll also get a few laboratories. We'll get both. All right. Construction complete. So what about our newest planet? Let's Pursuit have a look. Complete. How is it doing? We need to remove some of these blockers. And that will do. And grab another power plant. And maybe a frontier clinic somewhere. But first, power plant. All right, what else is happening? Engineering research. Auto cannon. What else? Mineral silo free, plus 10% military station health, battleship assembly yards. That might be useful, actually. Advanced fighter wing and advanced bomber wing. Yeah, sure, let's grab that. And I might get a few carriers once we finish that. So, Ether Drake, almost 40,000 fleet strength. Let's have a look. It's still upgrading, so let's maybe finish that first and then Ships we can attack upgraded. did fleet strength actually just go down a little bit i think it did let's check the designs real quick battleship seems fine cruiser is fine destroyer that's not entirely fine but we do need some point defense so i suppose that's also okay I will likely switch all these designs to manual eventually, it's just battleship on manual right now. So before we go, let's maybe get a few more cruisers. At least one or two more, I would say. We are at 236 out of 256 fleet strength right now. Or naval capacity, I mean. Construction complete. Someone declared war? Not anyone we really care about. Well, actually... That's the green guys over here. I don't want them to get too strong. They are already getting pretty damn strong. Their tech level is equivalent, so that's good. It's not superior. And there's our new unlock. Xenomorph army, that's nice. What else? Frontier hospital, that is useful. Yeah, let's unlock the frontier hospital. Sounds good. And check our planets real quick. How are they doing? Mostly fine, we still need a few upgrades. Complete. Does the planetary administration. And construction ship. Yeah, we can grab a few research stations. We did get the system over here. I wasn't sure if we we're going to get that one or not. But we did. So, almost 40,000. Let's get 40,000 before we go. I suppose we can also grab a corvette or two. How many corvettes do we have? 40 right now. Okay. Construction complete. We'll get a couple more. Construction complete. 39.5. Yeah, just grab a few more corvettes. It's fine. Research complete. Are we researching anything that will help our military? I don't think so. No, not complete. right now. What about physics? Let's see. None of these are super useful. Let's go for the cheapest tech then. Maybe we'll get something more interesting next time. So another Corvette or two and that will be exactly 40,000. And then we can go. Looking forward to it. The science ship is waiting and we'll also need a construction ship. Where is it right now? Here's one, here's the other one. Complete. And the last one is working on the stations. And the closest science ship? Right here, in our home system. Alright, let's go then, this should be fun. 
I don't know the Ether Drake is harder than the Automated Dreadnought. The Automated Dreadnought is supposed to be one of the easiest to kill, but 40,000 flea strength should be enough. Research complete. I guess we're about to find out. There's the Frontier Hospital, plus 5 years leader lifespan, yep, that's fine. Or clone army, sure, that's cheap. And how's the habitat doing? Let's see, we need more population. We are still constructing the buildings. So let's slow down a little bit and see how this goes. We will definitely lose, I would say, at least 15,000 flea strength in this engagement. Hopefully it won't be too bad. It is pretty damn strong. And it uses energy weapon. I know you can actually get your own ether shake. If you get lucky. But not immediately. There's going to be a planet. A dragon's horde. Which will eventually give you one of the two different random outcomes after... I don't know how many years. Either an unhatched dragon egg or something else that I don't remember right now. But you have 50% chance, basically, to get your own Ether Drake. At least that's how I understand it. Plus 50% building speed? Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, we lost around 15,000, as I thought. It's going down, though. Please tell me it's going down. There we go. The formidable Ether Drake has been slain. The exceptional bravery of Admiral Riblog and the second Nautilus squadron will not be soon forgotten. The planetoid the beast guarded so jealously can now be safely exploited. So we also got... A Dragon Slayer trade. And plus 300 influence. Right, before we accept that, let's maybe spend our influence. That sounds like a good idea. Let's have a look. No active edicts. We can get some minerals and energy. So, capacity overload. And maybe some minerals. Like so. Now we can accept. Gain access to the Empire Unique Building, Dragon Slayer Monument. Oh, nice! Let's see how good that is. I'm not actually sure. And let's pause for a moment. So, where do we have some space? Dragon Slayer Monument, plus 10% happiness. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad at all, actually. I like it. So, let's keep working on the planets. And... Right, first we need to survey the Dragon's Horde. So grab the science ship from our home planet. And off you go, survey the system. And I suppose it's safe to go back to our shipyard. So back you go. We still got almost 25,000, it's fine. How many battleships? 7 battleships, 15 destroyers, 38 corvettes. Not too bad. I lost basically around as much as I expected to lose 15,000. My estimation was roughly correct. So, more upgrades. This is mostly food, I suppose. We don't really need food at the moment. Let's see, Biolab is fine. And how's the habitat doing? Yep, still building. Alright. Let's just queue up a few things in advance. So... We can also get Unity here, but right now I'm going to focus on energy and science. That's mostly what it's for at the moment. Alright, carry on. And Proton Torpedoes. Not going to use them, but it was the cheapest research available in here. All right. So, are we there yet? Give me the Dragon's Horde. Set the construction ship right away. That should be 30 minerals and 30 energy, as far as I remember. And then eventually we'll get one of the two events. 
like I mentioned. And one of the options is unhatched dragon egg. I'm not sure how long that takes to trigger, but... Yeah, there we go. 30 energy and 30 minerals. Very nice. System survey complete. And more research is done. Clone VATS. Plus one core sector systems, but that's 18,000. I think that can wait a little bit. Ship upgrade cost is not that important. Let's grab atmospheric manipulation. Alright, carry on then. Unemployment, what's going on with that? Right, I suppose we can build the Dragon Slayer monument here. I think so. We are at 85% happiness at the moment. Sure, let's build it here, why the heck not? Who are the other planets? What's the lowest happiness planet? Oh, and another tradition. So now we can grab minus 10% building upkeep. I think I'll just finish prosperity, although we could also start working on domination. But if we finish prosperity faster, we'll unlock our fourth ascension perk faster. And that's kind of what I want. So... We could also go for the pursuit of profit first. That will give us more unity. Sure. Works for me. Who else is unemployed? 80% happiness. Let's grab another monument then. Wait, are we already building it here? Oh, is that an empire unique, not a planetary unique? Which planet was it? Let's see... That was the one. Let's cancel it for a moment. Yeah, it's Empire Unique, not a Planetary Unique, right. So, maybe not on this planet, I don't think we need one here. Doesn't seem like it. Military Academy, Clone Vats, which planet is this exactly? Oh yeah, right next to our home planet. Let's just get more research then. And minerals. Yep, mining network. And hydroponics farm. We don't need food right now, but we will eventually. Because I do plan to build more habitats, I just don't want to spam them too quickly. Because they will affect our research cost. Wouldn't be a very good idea to build like 5 or 6 all at the same time. Complete. So there's our uber mining station. Proceed and... Complete. We'll grab the energy too. Hey, you there. Mining station. And what we could do is build a frontier outpost here in this system and then demolish the other one. That's a pretty good idea because we should get more systems like this. I think I'm going to do that. Anyway, more research. Let's see, planet sensor range plus 10%. That's 15,000 cost. I don't think that's worth it right now. Let's just unlock the cheap techs. Until we get something interesting that's worth spending more research on. And what about this planet? That's one of our newer planets. I'm not sure where we should build that Dragon Slayer monument. I don't think we have any planet below 80% happiness. I'm pretty sure we don't. This one. 65%. Okay, so that's our lowest happiness planet. From the looks of it. 25. That's the one. 70. Was that the one? It was just one of the pops at 65, I think. Yeah, this guy. But there's no space around here. So if we want to build that, we should build it elsewhere. This planet has 25. We could replace one of the farms. That's an idea. Alright, let's replace this one with a Dragon Slayer monument. That works. Alright, carry on. Still more unemployment. Probably a science lab or a shield generator. Let's grab a shield generator. Might be useful in the future. 
And we should keep building up our army. Let's maybe grab another battleship or two. I'd like to have 10 battleships at all times, so we'll get 10 and then work on smaller ships. Also, we are capped on influence, so let's have a look. We can get more minerals. Let's check our planets real quick. Which one is generating the most minerals and doesn't have any edict active? This would be the one. That's going to be production targets. Yep. Looking good, almost 300 minerals per month. And now we'll grab the frontier outpost. Let's have a look. Construction ship. Oh, is he still building the mining station? I think so. What's next? Kinetic artillery. That might be worth unlocking. It's a long range kinetic weapon. We might need that at some point. Alright, sure. Let's unlock that. And science ships need to send it back to our home planet. Or keep it here until we finish the frontier outpost. We'll have a few new planets to survey. I guess we'll wait for that. So, is anyone still more advanced than we are? Let's have a look. I don't think so. No, bleeding edge plus 5% happiness. Okay. So other than fallen empires, no one is more advanced than we are. Let's see. What can we get next? Leader enhancement, capacity boosters, yes. Let's get that. Construction complete. So are we done yet? Wrong system, right here. We are done. Construction complete. That's the construction ship. We just need wait, what what do we need? Oh, an orbital station is already here, right. We can't have the mine while having the frontier outpost. Fair enough. Alright, let's do it. And we'll demolish the other one. And we should probably build a few defensive structures around here. Complete. That's a good idea, because, you know, this system is quite valuable. And it might get attacked once we go to war with someone. We aren't going to war just yet, but we will, eventually. Anyway, where are the science ships right now? One over here. And I think Inagor Prime is generating more research at this point, or is it? No, slightly less. Okay, fine. Off you go. Was that the one? That's the one. Off you go, then. What's the other science ship doing? It's not doing anything. It was upgrading. But that was done a while back. We can upgrade Ships one more time. Alright, so let's go and survey more, shall we? Yep. Didn't we unlock automatic exploration? Well, survey. Alright then. So, let's keep working on our fleet. That's eight battleships. Queue up one more and then we'll work on cruisers, destroyers and corvettes. Let's check our relations real quick. Who hates us the most? Let's have a look. Oh yeah, the Star Regime guys. Let's see, their fleet power is superior. Well, no wonder we lost 15,000 fleet strength, so obviously it's going to be superior right now. They are getting pretty darn big. Yeah, we might want to do something about that eventually. There's the X-ray laser. What else can we grab? Gamma laser, let's get the shields. Alright, sure. And keep working on our planets and on the habitat. I'll check that in just a second. Just queue up the upgrades. And another mine. Maybe a paradise dome somewhere. We got time for that. So, how's the habitat doing? It's growing nicely, so... 
more laboratories and more energy. Two or three habitats like this should mostly solve our energy problems in predictable future. Even one habitat full of solar power processors should solve any of our energy problems, really. And it will be worth a crap ton of science. Now, how about the stations? We are still working on the frontier outpost, so let's maybe finish that first and we'll demolish the other one once it's done. That should give us control of everything in the area. We'll probably lose control of this system over here, but that's fine. Not sure if we'll keep this one. I guess we'll find out. So, demolish the frontier outpost. We can always keep both, but we don't need both. There's no need to pay extra influence when we don't have to. There, yeah, we just lost Tronde, and we kept this one. And we gained another system with four engineering. So we basically traded a system with two engineering research for a system with four engineering research. Good deal, I would say. Okay, then. More unemployment. First, some upgrades. And let's see, do we need a Paradise Dome in here? We need an energy grid. We already have a Paradise Dome from the looks of it. So energy grid, Frontier Clinic. We aren't generating a whole lot of energy on this planet. It's probably not worth it, but energy grid will give us unity. Eventually. So, sure, I suppose it's worth it in that situation. The next tradition will give us unity from energy grid. So might as well build it, even on planets where it's seemingly not worth it right now. Right, so how about we build some defensive structures over here? We can build a fortress. Maybe we should change the design. Let's have a look at the fortress design. Is it any good? Well, just a lot of Gauss cannons right now. Okay, I suppose that's fine. Yeah, this is fine. Alright, we'll build one, maybe two. Just one will be enough for now. Next to the Dragon's Horde. Five point fourteen monthly maintenance. But we aren't really worried about maintenance anymore. Because we got habitats, we can get a crap ton of energy. We could just spam fortresses in every system we control. And I might do that eventually. To get some basic defenses. I suppose we'll see. But this system definitely needs defenses, no doubt about that. And I suppose we should start another habitat sometime soon. Now that our first one is progressing nicely. We just need to save up 5,000 minerals. Construction complete. Sounds good to me. Construction complete. I don't think we have anything else that requires research stations or mining stations. Oh, this system down here. Is that ours? Apparently it is. Okay, then. Off you go. And how are the planets doing? Let's go through all our planets really quickly and check all the upgrades. Might as well just upgrade everything. We'll need the food eventually for habitats population. So grab all of that. Everything upgraded, upgraded. Biolab? Biolab is fine. And upgrade everything else. And then we'll check our fleet real quick. So, how's our fleet doing? We should have 10 battleships by now. And we do. So, next up... We don't have any cruisers left, do we? No, we lost all of them. Okay. Let's get some cruisers then, shall we? We do have cruiser assembly yards in here, so that helps. We should probably unlock battleship assembly yards and build that. But meanwhile, since we will be getting more destroyers, we can get destroyer assembly yards. Can always replace it with something else in the future, I suppose. But for now, that works. Carry on. Construction complete. 
So everything is looking pretty good so far. How are our relations? How's that federation doing? The one near us. It's still the only federation around, that's interesting. We could ask to join their federation, but they won't accept. Maybe we should just end our association status. I don't think we need them, to be honest. We'll see. I don't think we need them, though. We could probably just end our association with them. We could try to start our own federation. That's always a possibility. Seeing how there's just one. Or we can go solo to keep one of the factions happy. The First Strike Legion. They don't like when we're part of a federation. So that would give us more influence. Anyway, I'm going to make a cut here and continue in the next episode. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.